This is Pioneer's DMH WT8600 NEX. This is a floating screen HD radio receiver with a 10.1 inch high definition LED capacitive glass touchscreen. The DMH WT8600 NEX works with Apple CarPlay when connected to a compatible iPhone with a wireless connection or a wired connection through USB. The DMHWT8600 NEX works with Android Auto Wireless and Google Home when connected to a compatible Android phone with a wireless connection or a wired connection through USB. The DMHWT8600 NEX also works with Amazon Alexa with a wireless connection to your compatible phone or a Wi-Fi hotspot. The DMHWT8600 NEX has three sets of RCA outputs for operating external amplifiers and is backup camera ready and Sirius XM ready. The USB-C port can be used to connect your phone and play back high resolution audio music files and high definition video files. The system features built-in Bluetooth for both hands-free calling and wireless streaming audio. Let's take a look and see what's in the box. And it's a giant box for a car stereo system. Let's pop this open. All right, we have, uh, let's start off with the wire harness. There's the wire harness. Uh, this gives us connection for power and ground and speakers, all of the electrical connections from the in-dash receiver over to the vehicle. Uh, next thing is our install screws. There's a handful of install screws and you also have the screws to mount the screen to the, uh, the one DIN chassis that goes in the receiver. So you wanna keep an eye on these screws. You're definitely gonna to need these. Uh, let's see, next up we got the Bluetooth microphone. Here's the Bluetooth mic here. Typically this is mounted somewhere up in the headliner or something like that near the driver. Uh, it comes on a wire about 10 feet long or so for very flexible installation. Next up we have the wireless remote control included in the box. There's the wireless remote control. Uh, let's see, next we have the mounting bracket for the screen. Now this is a huge flat panel screen, so it requires a very heavy mounting bracket to hold it firmly in the dash. Uh, one end connects to the screen, the other end connects to the one din chassis that goes in the dash. Let's see, next up we have the, um, the USB extension. So the USB port is on the back of this receiver and it's a USB-C port. So we include a USB extension in the box uh, so that you can bring that USB port up into the passenger compartment of your vehicle, USB-C. And here is a USB-C to USB-A adapter that is also included uh, in the box. Next up we have a GPS antenna. Uh, if you're going to use Android Auto Wireless or if you're going to use um, Apple CarPlay Wireless, you're going to want the uh, um, GPS antenna for this product. You're going to need that. And then you have the uh, input and output wire harness here. Now I'll give you a careful look at the input output wire harness so you can see everything that's there a little bit later in the video. And let's see here. We have the quick start guide. And please remember that you can download a complete copy of the owner's manual in PDF form right onto your cell phone from pioneerelectronics.com. And the last thing we got here is the warranty card. All right, there's the warranty card. So let me open this up. And there's two parts inside here. We'll show you both of these. All right, first part is the one din chassis that will mount in the dash and the screen mounts onto this. I'll give you a careful look at this thing just in a, in a moment in the video here. And the other part is the 10 in, 10 10.1 inch capacitive glass screen here. And we'll give you a careful look at this thing as well. The DMHWT8600 NEX is a one din receiver with a 10.1 inch floating screen. The Pioneer DMHWT8600 NEX can be installed in nearly any vehicle that has a one DIN opening or larger with the use of readily available dash installation kits made to fit your particular vehicle's dash opening. A heavy duty mounting bracket holds the screen securely to the one DIN receiver sized control unit. The screen has many different installation options. It can be installed forward or back it can be installed to the right or centered or to the left. And it can be installed higher or lower 
to suit many different vehicle dash configurations and layouts. The screen can be angled up to 75 degrees for glare-free viewing from the driver's position. The screen connects to the control unit with one simple cable. The front panel of the Pioneer DMH WT8600 NEX has a simple layout. All of the control buttons are built into the 10.1 inch high definition capacitive glass touchscreen right here. The volume control is here. And the home key and display keys are here. The voice activation key is here. The capacitive glass touchscreen is sharp and bright with a 1280 by 720 high definition resolution and it measures 11 and a quarter inches diagonal with a 10.1 inch video playback area. The live screen widgets are automatically updated when the system has a Wi-Fi connection. The screen layout can be uniquely configured by different users and the system will identify the user and automatically adjust the screen layout. The DMHWT8600 NEX is an audio video digital media receiver and does not have a CD or DVD player. Alexa, how long does it take to get to the moon? It depends how fast you move. For example, Apollo 11 took three days to reach lunar orbit and landed a day after that. Alexa, call Felonius. The back panel of the DMH-WT8600 NEX starts off with the GPS antenna input right here. This blackjack can be used to operate your steering wheel controls through a third-party adapter. This jack is for the Bluetooth microphone included with the in-dash receiver. It's used for making hands-free Bluetooth phone calls. You'll use this port for the optional SXV300 tuner from SiriusXM. The optional iDatalink Maestro RR OEM integration unit will plug in right here. This port can also be used for the Metra Access OEM integration unit. Here is the USB-C port that can be used for Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. The USB-C port can also be used for high resolution music, high definition movies, and still images through a USB flash drive. And remember, we include a USB extension in the box to bring that USB port up into the passenger compartment of your vehicle. We also include a USB-C to USB-A adapter in the box. And this is where you'll plug in the power and ground wire harness connected to the vehicle. The Pioneer DMHWT8600 NEX has a built-in amplifier that is designed to operate with up to four speakers in your vehicle. On the other side, we start off with the micro HDMI input right here. The AM FM and HD radio antenna from the vehicle will plug in right here. And the white port here is for the input output wire harness. Let's take a closer look at the input output wire harness. On the input output wire harness, there are three sets of RCA outputs for operating external amplifiers. They are four volt RCA outputs. They can be set up in standard mode as front, rear, and subwoofer output, or for more control and better sound quality, use network mode and set them up as high, mid, and low output. And the brown jack here is the dedicated backup camera input designed to be used with Pioneer's ND-BC8 backup camera. The auxiliary input here can be used for audio and video input. There are two yellow RCAs. The first yellow RCA is the rear monitor output. 
And the second yellow RCA is the second camera input. And finally, the external mute is here. And that is Pioneer's DMH-WT-8600 NEX. And what's in the box? 